So when I pronounce your last name, give Kang, uh, Kang. It is Kang. Yes. Yeah, so okay. So, Bishop Kang, uh, why is it important to resist the naval base that is being constructed now in Gangjian Village? Mm. Why is that important? Uh, because first of all, uh, I reflected on this issue uh, according to the te social teachings of the church. Uh, all the recent uh, popes uh, insisted strongly on the disarmament uh, and uh, they, they realized from uh, this is the 50th anniversary of uh, Terry's uh, written by John Twenty Third, and and he he is the person who really realized that, that the war can't make any kind of peace. So uh, we Christians should uh, do our best to re to resist any kind of uh, things which uh, enable the war. Uh, I also think uh, in Korea we, we had a terrible uh, war in 19, from 1950 to 52 for three years which uh, massacred more than three million people in this peninsula. It's a real tragedy for the, for the whole people. And, and uh, even after that, the Vietnam War, or war in Iraq, Afghanistan, every war didn't produce any kind of peace. It's, it's, it's just a, uh, uh, it's just unmeaningful, insignificant violence which annihilate the, the, the human race and human dignity. Uh, that's the first reason. And the second reason would be that, the, uh, as I said before, here in uh, Jeju Island, in 1948, April 3rd, uh, we had a terrible uh, incident here. It, it lasted uh, almost six years in this island, which killed more than 30,000 islanders, including so many little children and, and elderly persons. Uh, well, it was started by some uh, extreme communist uh, uh, but uh, actually do to, to uh, resolve this uh, uprising the military massacred just ordinary people uh, so it, it military itself always uh, do not have the, uh, the kind of a reverence towards the human life. Military exists just for, for themselves. And uh, so it, the Looking back, the, the history of this island, uh, I, I thought uh, it is my duty to uh, let people know the last past history of Jeju and do not repeat, and, and uh, it's our duty 
not to repeat that kind of tragic uh, history again in this island and, and uh, the building of a new uh, military base which would accommodate a, a aircraft carrier and an Aegis battleship which would uh, uh, contain lots of uh, terrible missiles uh, which could kill thousands and thousands of people. Uh, th and this is the, the most re the remotest place from the, the, the militarized line from 38 degrees. Mm. And why do we have to, 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 uh, to build this kind of new uh, base in, in such a remote place from the, the militarized zone? Mm. It's, uh, so from the, the Korean reality, we don't have we don't have to build this kind of new base here in this in the utmost southern part. So uh, I think, as Christian uh, and as 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 uh, one who who loves the peace the real peace Jesus wished to perform by crucifying himself in the cross we should resist as far as possible to, to uh, uh, to stop this kind of militarism do you think it's uh do you think it's important to uh, stop that type of militarism anywhere? In the yes, yes, without doubt, yes, it, it, it's it's anywhere we should resist against this kind of uh, military expansion. Well, uh, it's, it's they they always they always wish to to expand their. Uh, power, mm. violent power, and, and their, their weapons. The m more they, they, they wish to have, they wish to develop more weapons and, and spend more money on this. Right. How important do you, is it, do you think, for a church leader or for a bishop to lead resistance to militarism and to military bases and, and to war. How important is it to, for a bishop to lead in that type of resistance against the building of more weapons, the building of more bases? Well, uh, I think we Christians, especially uh, the, the ordinary politicians or diplomats, they, they do not have uh, the usually they don't uh, strive themselves uh, s sufficiently to, to resist this kind of uh, armament race. I think only we Christians are the are those who could who, who could and who wish to 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 resist this kind of. Uh, armament race. So I think, well, uh, even the, the social teachings of the church right. uh, urges us to, to uh, take part actively in this kind of resistance. Right, right. Okay. Uh, how important do you see the Eucharist being a part of uh, resistance, such as happens at Gangshan village, where Eucharist is part the basis of the ongoing resistance. How important do you see the Eucharist being? Well,